Hello everybody, it's Kanoa here with Baja123.com in beautiful Rosary Beach, Mexico. This morning I'm here with Gordon, and Gordon invited a few guests uh, this morning. Yes. Good morning, Gordon. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Gordon Brown with Baja123, powered by AXP. I'm here today with Ali and SD from h and Consultants, and they help everybody get their immigration down here. So we're going to let them explain a little bit about themselves and tell you what they can do for you. Hi, my name is Esti. She is my partner, Ali. Like Gordon was saying, we're both part of the immigration consultants of H&H Consultants. We do residence cards for U.S. citizens and for any other nationality that are in need of a temporary or a permanent residency. Let we me ask you really quick, like yes. who would want or need a residence card? Anyone that is a foreigner that wants to live in Mexico. Okay, so that's, so if they're not here for tourism, and they're coming here to permanently live, they need to get a residence card. Basically, that's what we're saying, right? Yes. And so if those people are here and they need that, they need to call you guys. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> and so why don't you guys tell us a little bit, what do you do? How, how, what do you provide? What's the process of that? What, what does it look like? Well, we need to see uh, what is the best option for our clients because they can apply for their residencies by different uh, scenarios. So the first part of the process with them is to check how we can do it okay. and, and the best way to do it. So it's kind of like almost you got to do an interview, like a pre-consultation to see what, the, what their particular situation is. Yes. And then from there, you can give them guidance on what's next what and what they do. would do. Because there's going to be different scenarios for different people. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. And so once they come in and you kind of do that pre-consultation and you can figure out, okay, what's best for them, usually like what's the time frame of, of getting a residency? Well, it depends yeah. a lot because it depends on what scenario we chose in that previous call before starting the entire process. So let's say that it's a uh, family ties be, um, residence, I'm sorry, you will take, be looking around four to five weeks. Okay, right? so that's like if they're married or if they have their ki like kids or parents, so then they can, that's one path for them to come in to get residency. Correct. Yes, okay. yes that's the easiest that's one. That's the easiest one. Correct. So if they that's have family. That's the one you want. Okay, all right, all right, got it, excellent. Yes. And, so, and so we've got the family path, and then there's a, what's, what other kind of paths are there? So then there was somebody, say they don't have any family, and they're coming in, what would that yeah, look like? Yeah, there are options for them. We can start the procedure at the consulate outside Mexico, but we will need to see, um, I mean, talking about the time, it will depend on every different consulate. Okay. So, so why should they choose you guys over maybe some of these other, because I see there's a lot of people online right now that are offering services. What's your background? What's your specialty? Why should they pick you guys? Yeah, so the most uh, good thing about hiring us is that both of us, we used to work for the immigration office for the INM or what other people call the INAMI. Uh, she worked there for 11 years, I worked there for four years, so just combine of us, we have 15 years of experience. So you guys know all the ins and outs, yes. you know all the paths, you know yes. how to navigate <laughs> all of it to help people get through the challenges, or, you know, yeah. we can say, or nightmare, let's say challenges. <laughs> yeah, because it could be also, a challenge. Yeah. Yeah. I'd also like to add, um, they didn't personally help me with my immigration, I had that prior to moving down here, but they did help me with my real estate license, right. and that's how I got introduced to them. They pick up the phone, they answer text messages, they're on it, yeah, they say they're going to do whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> they handle business. I think I'm like, there's a vortex happening. I don't even know. Are you seriously? Seriously. <laughs> and so they have helped multiple clients of mine that I've sold real estate to in helping them get their residency also. And same thing, they are on it. And that's why I would recommend you. Well, I mean, just because they answer the phone and call you back, I think we're right there just sets the bar. I mean, it just, you know, <laughs> just because you call people back is like, wow. Yeah, Welcome to Rosarito. We like <laughs> to give a very good service to your clients right. and and of course experience that we have it's a plus because sometimes they don't know how to start they don't know where to go it's it could be a nightmare sometimes well a, a challenge yeah. correct no. you don't know where to start and we like to call it a vip service it don't think don't communicate mm -hmm. service where we do all the talking all the thinking for our clients you know i've been here since 2005 and i've seen the system evolve so yeah. it keeps changing yes. from when I got here in 2005, when it was just getting my visa at that time to working through to getting to um, now that I'm a dual citizenship. But but all of that process has almost every few years has changed. So it, so what it used to be like a few years ago or five years ago or 10 year, years ago, it's not like it is today. And it seems to be changing even faster, more that the rules are coming in. So you really need somebody that knows what they're doing yes. in order to do it right and get it done correctly. Yes, because, for example, right now, if we talk about the 
law, the requirements are still the same. But what we see in the practice is, for example, every consulate works differently mm -hmm. different so these are the US, in the u.s you mean the council yes. so yes. depending yeah. on what council that they go to to start the yes. process will yes. have a different let's experience. say that you want to apply for your residency through your economic solvency right the income that you will need to prove is going to be higher in san diego than in sacramento for example interesting and in San Diego, you can get an appointment way easier than in Sacramento. Yes. Okay. So, so it depends if you're in a hurry or yes, how much money yes. you're making. Or so, so there's all these yes, variables that yes, are going to happen. Yes, there right? are a few details that we need to okay. know and, and, and see how we are going to do it. Uh, it's the same with the office, with the INM office here in Mexico. If you go to other city, you will notice that they do things different. Unfortunately, that's how it is. So this is this could be like very hard for someone who doesn't know the, who, do, who don't know the, the language, who yeah. doesn't speak and the language. language. They actually came and talked to our group, I, and Frau, the, the, the local yeah, office sure. had come in yeah, and yeah. spoke to our, to our group locally and they, and they explained, you know, a lot of the processes. This was a couple of years ago before the COVID and stuff like that. So has anything changed since COVID? I know that a lot of the offices closed. So there was a lot of, a lot of backup and a lot of delays because of the uh, pandemic and stuff like that. So right now is that, are we open again? Is it is it everything working correctly or are we still um, dealing with a lot of the COVID yes, challenges? Yes, everything is working right now. All consulates are open right now. The only challenge right now is that the rule that changed is that if you don't leave in their jurisdiction, they might not give you an appointment at the Mexican consulate in the United States. Okay. Yeah. There are some consulates that does accept outside of the jurisdiction, but there are others that do not. So that's the thing that changed with COVID. Some, some consulates already moved away of that um, work type or okay. thing, but there's still that. So that will be one of the biggest restrictions besides the fact that a lot of, uh, there are a lot of migrants from South America. Yeah, they're they're getting here. Yeah. Like if you go to here to the INM in, in Tijuana, you're expecting at least five hour wait time. Wow. At least you're doing Do we that. have a local office for, for us to go to in Rosarito? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, in City Hall. Okay, in City Hall. So people that are in the Rosary Beach area can, can go and process yes. in, yes. In, the, in, in Rosarito. Correct. Which I think is a big deal because I've been in both and yeah, like you yeah. said, it's a long <laughs> yes. wait time. Yeah. When they helped me with my license, they did the majority of the work for me. Yeah. They went to the offices, they paid everything for me. All I had to do was go sign one or two pieces of paper. They handled everything. You made it very simple and walked me through the whole process, which was a very nice thing to have done for me. Gordon and Daryl have been, I mean, talking, uh, they've been talking how amazing you guys are. So both of those guys have been pushing to get this video done to get you in here. I mean, if you want to talk about a testimonial, I mean, these guys have been fighting to get you go, hey, we've got to get them in here. And, and, and I, I know for good reason, because they want to offer good products and services to their clients. I mean, they're in the business of having people come down here, helping them navigate about buying and living in Mexico and Rosarito specifically. And they want to be able to provide good, good quality service and third party services to our clients too. So I really appreciate you guys coming in here and talking. I'm excited that we can be able to get in here and have this conversation right now. Um, I want to ask, um, Gordon, is there any other questions that you think that we might've missed? Yes. As a matter of fact, just one that's recently come up, the CFE, which is the electric company down here in Rosarito, is requiring you to have a residency in order to get an electric bill put in your name. And this is a new law, it's probably about six months old roughly, that we're trying to work our way through. But, so if you're getting ready to buy a home, they can start your residency process and have that finished prior to signing the papers for the home. So let's just be clear about what you're saying, Gordon. I mean, just so, so right now you're saying, so if people are wanting to buy a home, part of the process is they have to get an electric bill put in their name. Is Correct. that what you're saying? Yes. And in order to get the electric bill put in their name, they need to start establishing residency. Correct. Correct. And in order to establish residency, if they haven't done it, they need to either go figure it out themselves Correct. or they need to get a third party service to come in and help them do that, yes. which is what you guys would do. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Okay. And after navigating the system myself, doing it, I highly recommend having somebody do it for you because it is not a simple process. I just actually did a video right before you guys came in here where I discussed about importation of a vehicle, where we wanted, where we just imported a vehicle. And I talked about how 
how much I like to pay somebody else to help us, if you can afford it, to be yeah. able to navigate, to get somebody that really knows what they're doing to help go through that so that way, because it can be really frustrating if you don't speak the language, but even if you do speak the language, it can still be frustrating if you don't understand what the process how and the system, system how the system works. Exactly. And, you know, and you know what, and for as much as, I, I've been here since 2005, and I just know that there's certain people here that can get things done faster than other people, <laughs> right? And so for those people that are looking to, you know, to have, to have you know have their hand held you know through that process to not have to think about it to know that it's getting done right and to have other people to you know help you not have to stand in line so long I definitely recommend giving them a call we're gonna put a link to their uh, to their contact information down below in the um, in the video we'll link to your Facebook page and that way you guys the people can contact you directly and um, if you have any other questions which you sh I'm sure people will they can call sure. they can contact you ask some questions I hope you guys come back and you actually come and do more videos because I think we can get into even more topics specific maybe yes. into some more detail because i think you even offer other services which you helped gordon and daryl get their real estate license so you actually helped them navigate their um state real estate license which was something that was a challenge just like everything <laughs> <know>. else <laughs> makes no, it make, make a challenge right yeah. you know and uh, so that's one of the things that i think um you know you probably have other things that you can offer too um is there anything else you guys like to say before we end um, no, I mean, uh, you were just saying a little bit before that if you have the money to hire a service or not, but we also have some packages for people yeah. that say, you know what, I don't have that kind of money, but I do want you to probably prepare me the paperwork only and I'll handle it after. So we'll give you the know-how on that part and then you deal with the other part. Well, you know what? It's a pleasure meeting you guys. You guys were <laughs> thank wonderful. You, thank, thank you. Thank you, you so much. Thank you for being <laughs> yeah, part of our city. Okay. Thank <laughs> you for helping helping all our residents navigate Rosarito even better. Thank you very much for getting them in here. I really appreciate it. Everybody, you know, um, thank you very much for watching. If you have any other questions, make sure to give them a call. Have a great day, thank everybody. You, everybody. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Thank you for watching our video. If you're planning on buying real estate in the Rosary Beach area, make sure to give us a call. Have a great day, everybody.